Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. Out there is Carter Reed about to drop down. This is first ice walleye. We have lots of ice, but in some spots, we don't have as much. Very inconsistent, but clear, clear ice. We took all the precautions. I did have a floating uh, jacket on. When we first went out and checked our area, we're in a good three, three and a half inches of solid clear ice. We both feel very confident. There's been no sagging, there's been no cracking, nothing like that, it's been deadly. Walleyes is the game plan and first ice. So I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about for this video. Let's just go make something happen. I'm not gonna to talk too much about first ice safety in this video, other than the fact that you should have a spud bar, which is your most important tool to check the ice in front of you when you're walking. I did a, re a video recently with first ice safety. I'll link it below if you're curious about that. Go check it out. There's lots of information on the internet, but please be prepared. Be ready to fall in in case you do in that sense. And most importantly, take those precautions ahead of time so you don't fall in, obviously, as well. So yeah, let's get set up. It's lots. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, come on. I'm gonna have to get the, I'm gonna have to get my um, GoPro on this. Come on. It's chasing up. This is pretty cool. It's chasing up. Oh, come on. This is really cool. This is a pretty good fish, I think. Oh, come on. I got him at eight feet right now. Got him. Unbelievable. Okay, that was cool. If this is a walleye, it's a decent one. That was cool. Are you kidding me? I got this at a bad angle. It almost looked more like a pike. It was pretty long, but that was so cool. Brought him all the way up to eight feet. Man, is this a walleye? Um, turn. I want you to turn my camera, actually. That was so cool. Like that was I, my first interaction. It's a pike. It's a pike. I figured. I figured it was a pike. I got it. That's okay. Yeah. The, that was so cool how I watched it like snake all the way up to eight feet. I have to get the GoPro on there. Oh, that looks cool. That was so unreal to watch all that happen. Okay. First impressions of the Mega Live was really neat. Really neat. Unbelievable. You want to turn my camera towards me maybe? Amazing. Amazing. Easy, easy, easy. Just turn the whole tripod. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, my first fish of the ice fishing season is a northern pike, Clayton style. That'd be actually a perfect eater, but we're gonna let him go. I'm so tempted to keep that fish. I do have to get the GoPro going on the Mega Live. I was just kind of playing with it to see what was going on first and had a pretty cool first interaction. It brought him all the way up to eight feet. So we'll get the GoPro going on there now. I haven't had another. Well, you got fish? Carter Small. Reed. Doesn't even say anything. There's another mark down there. How's it feel? Tiny. Ooh. First walleye of the year. That's an eater. I think we'll let him go. I, I misjudged him. He's probably only what? 15. 15? Yeah, let's let this one live. He's a little smaller than I thought. Man, there's, I can watch, see fish swimming definitely shallower, 10 feet from, geez, that's not far from where I am, but I think I need to move over. I think I need to move a bit shallower. That was really cool. I can see when I turn it, oh, geez. Oh, it's coming to me. It's coming over here. Here it comes, come on. Oh, got him, that was cool. Wow, that was cool. I was spinning my Mega Live a little bit. This is a nice fish. If this is a walleye, it's a good one. I was spinning my Mega Live a little bit just to look shallower. I saw Mark cruising the bottom and all of a sudden I spun over to my bait and he started to come up. This is a decent fish. Man, that is so cool to watch on that screen. 
I think this is a walleye. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Put on a spoon right now. Went to the true grit. Ooh. That's a good walleye, isn't it? I should have pulled the mega. Oh, that's a big walleye, Carter. Hold, get your, grab your bump board. Yeah, this is big. Are you kidding me? What? This is a toad. Holy cow. Um, yeah, my first walleye of the ice fishing season is big. Like, big, big. Are you kidding me? Holy that's cow. That's a nice fish. That is a giant. Oh, come Barely on. Barely hooked. It's hardly hooked. Oh my goodness, it's a toad. It's a toad. Grab him. I will. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. That's a 30 inch Carter. Oh, yeah. Like, that is unreal. Are you kidding me? That was so cool to watch it come on the Mega Live like that. I am addicted already. This is a 30 incher. Nice job getting the board fast. Unbelievable. 30 and a quarter. 30 and a quarter inches. Holy. <laughs> um, well, that's a good start to the ice fishing season. 30 and a quarter. I never caught a 30 inch walleye all open water season. My first walleye of the open water season is a 30 and a quarter. Hello. <laughs> hardly out of the water too. Like hardly. That is epic. Unbelievable. Okay, I thought about moving a bit shallower, but no, I, I'm good where I am. I'm good in this 20 feet. Come on, baby. There she goes. <laughs> Okay, um, sometimes it just pays to be lucky. Switch to a quiver spoon right there. I'm gonna warm up my hands a little bit and talk about the bait a bit, but. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Well, that was epic. It's about 10 minutes after, just kind of getting settled in. That whole thing was like such a blur because I put my Mega Live in forward for a little bit and I was just kind of scanning around because Carter was getting a couple of marks where he was. So I was scanning around and I know there was a few times I could see a mark moving through there slithering. And as I was turning, I noticed more and more. It was actually coming more towards me and my lure. And I just pointed it at my lure right at the last second, grabbed my rod, jigged it, and it was like on instantly. I'm pretty sure that's how it all happened anyway. That's literally my first walleye of the 2021-22 ice fishing season like are you kidding me it's just it pays to be lucky like crazy i never caught a 30 inch walleye all open water season i caught numerous of 27 to 29 and a half so i think even 29 and three quarter i just couldn't break that 30 incher this year for open water not that i only fished walleye either but that was epic carter came in clutch he grabbed the bump board as I was fighting it and stuff like that right we were prepared for that fish type of thing I have pliers right here handy quick if I need to grab them type of thing but it was just one hook in the lip and that was it the whole sequence was just so cool unbelievable oh that's a mark there's oh, a fish. that's a mark looks like Ooh, a decent that's a big one. mark that's a big mark it's going this way oh that's a giant mark. It's going right there, right towards where I was. Come on, nice mark too, or at least looks decent. Come on. Carter's just over there checking ice a little bit further away. I've got a mark below me right now. I've got a dead stick out now too, I added beside me. This mark's definitely finicky, very finicky. No, it's going down. Maybe I'll go. he's going to go to the spoon, maybe. Oh, there's another mark down there. There's two marks down there right now. Two marks down there. It's coming to the spoon. Oh, three marks now. I got fish moving in here, Carter. Got three marks down there right now. Two below me. One coming to the dead stick. So cool. They're just like, oh, he's going to come and eat it off the bottom, maybe. Am I gonna get a double header? That'd be cool. So I noticed with the live imaging, I noticed with the Garmin stuff I played with two in the past. Oh, he just bumped it and took off. The separation on the bottom isn't always amazing. He bumped it and then scattled quick, skedaddled. Oh, here comes more. There's definitely marks on the bottom moving in right now. 
Most of my marks are just cruising through. Big. Big? Not a boy, not a boy. Oh boy. Maybe not. Maybe not. It was a nice mark. Yeah, treat him like he's good. It's all right. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. You wanna grab him or we gonna grab him? You can grab him, hey? It's a nice one. Like a 24. Yeah, buddy. Let's put out our pliers here. Yeah, we're good to go. It's crazy how well they fight below the ice. I just had a marker right over there too. It's so cool. It drags a little too tight. Oh, you're okay. That's a nice fish. Is it bigger than I thought? Uh, no, it's probably like 24-ish. Yeah. Which one are you on the smoke show? Yeah. yeah. Dinner bell? Yep. The old rose gold, hey? Oh, baby. And they fight so good. Early ice. <laughs> it's like he choked it, hey? Oh, he choked it. Choked it. Unbelievable. Yeah, awesome. it's like a 20... 24-ish. 23, 24, probably. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh, boy. Hammered it. It's awesome. Deadly. Whew. Cold Probably. hands now. Yeah, well, dry them off before you put them in your glove. Got them? How's it feel? Small. Maybe an eater? Oh, I got a mark here too. Could be. I got a mark here too. Come on, come back, come back. It's going to my dead stick maybe. Oh yeah, we got an eater. You got an eater? Oh, I love eaters. I love me some eaters. Not a boy. Nice. Nice, Carter. Oh, I got a mark right here too, and I was just gonna go change a battery and let a mark fly up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Carter just caught one like two seconds ago. And now I caught one. There's another fish down there too. Doesn't feel big, but now that the sun is starting to get a little bit lower, I think our bite's just gonna get crazy. I just got a feeling, I got a mark down there too. What's that? that is not an this is not an eater. No, this is not an eater. Little guy. Carter said it's good fish for me, but really it's good fish for him. I've got another fish down there too. Carter, we're gonna get a good bite here, I think, as the sun sets. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Prime time, baby. I can, yes, I can finally talk about my baits. I got a fish down here. Oh, ah, double! <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's not technically a double, but I just caught back to back. That's what I should say, not double. Back to back, drop down, bang. Bang. Oh, maybe an eater. Yeah, I got an eater, Carter. I got an eater. Woohoo! Fish tacos, baby. There's a perfect example of a great fish to keep. Took a deep, bleeding, selective harvest. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Done. Yeah, we'll snap his neck and be taking this one home to eat. Okay, so the longest time I already said I wanted to talk about these spoons a little bit. I put my bait back down there, but this is the color that I'm using right now is chrome red, silver in the back. Here they have like a white one here I do good with at times. And then this one is a hot one for me. Fire Tiger, really good. And then a gold one. You can never go wrong with all gold ice fishing I find. But they have two sizes. They have a 3 8 ounce and a quarter ounce. These are the 3 8 ounce. I primarily use mostly the 3 8 I use the quarter a little bit for perch. But the, the Quiver Spoon now has one they're coming out with the rattle in the eyes yet. I don't have it yet. So I haven't got to use it, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty good. We shall see, I do have some coming. I always get asked like, where can you get those? And of course I always say lurenet.com, but that only works for the people in the States. And I do have a discount code for the people in the States. If you go to lurenet.com, you can use the code Clayton15. But the people in Canada, I found them at Pokey's Tackle Shop. So listed below will be a link for their website as well. And I'll actually have a, a link directed directly to the Quiver Spoons. So you can, people in Canada can get them at Pokey's. Unfortunately, I don't get any kind of a discount on them there for you, but there's your place to get them in Canada as well now too. They've been a really good spoon for me. It's a spoon I started to use just last year, to be honest with you. I'm sure they've made them for a long time. It's something I just found in the last couple, in the last year, I should say. It's been good. Like I said, mostly the 3 8 ounce has been my go-to, and that's a little guy. Sometimes I'll tip it with bait. Like right now I have an eyeball on it, 
when they're more finicky i'll use bait but for the most part i like to run them without bait just because it kills the, the bait will kill the action of the spoon sometimes and the best way i find working them is literally just free fall them down and then just pop them up let them flutter pop them up let them flutter if you got the fish that are in the area just kind of bring it up and just start working it back and forth and they just kind of quiver right quiver back and forth like that and then if they get really finicky try to take them down to the bottom and they just kind of pound that sediment up pound 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 i got a mark coming up to my dead stick there right now look at that is that going to eat that dead stick it's coming right up to that dead stick coming right up to the dead stick i should really knock that ice out of that hole on the dead stick but yeah anyways the quiver spoon has been really good bluernet.com for the people in the states go clayton 15 and pokey's tackle shop for the people in Canada. You can get them both right there and the links will be below in the description of the video. They're all over my dead stick. All over it, just not on it. Oh, fish, my spoon now, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, here comes one faster. Here we go. See, it's crazy the difference. And like when they charge in, you know that they're gonna eat. Like everything's just kind of just hovering around, hovering around, hovering around. All of a sudden I see just one streak in there really fast. And of course it eats. And I believe it's actually another eater, Carter Reed. It's perfect. We want some fish tacos. So our sun is set. We're starting to get into that twilight time. The fish has not been very aggressive, to be honest. There's some marks here coming in and out. Circle the bait, take off. And then all of a sudden that one just like flies in and bang, nails it. You can almost tell like how quick it was moving across the bottom that it was gonna come in and eat. Oh, nice fish coming to my dead stick. Oh, nice fish coming to my bait, too. What do I do? Got fish everywhere here. Got fish everywhere. Fish everywhere and nothing biting. Come on. Big fish, big fish. Come on, big fish. Oh, come on. Don't do it, eat it. Big fish. Oh, are you kidding me? It's going to my, it's going to the other way. Maybe I can get him on this rod. Maybe I can get him here, but that was a big fish. Oh, come on. Oh, that's frustrating. That was a big one too. Unbelievable. Oh, well, sadly, on that note of a big fish chasing me around and not eating, we are packing it up today. Wasn't a smoke show day, but we did catch a giant and I will take a giant over numbers any day. So yeah, there's lots I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the new Frostbite rods, the Vanta Black versus the Twilight series and all that and a bunch of other stuff, but I always find that if I don't catch a pile of fish, I can't talk about a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have to catch more fish next time so I can talk about more. We have a long winter with lots of stuff to talk about. And we'll be back on the ice tomorrow, Carter and I, to chase walleye again. So hopefully we can have a little bit better day. Hopefully the fish won't be as finicky. But as always, don't forget, get outside. <laughs>